All right, well, we are back to uh, the Loka process here on this Galaxy S4. I do have the glass in the mold. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and apply the adhesive. I'm going to put it in almost like a stick figure guy shape, like a long X. Now, what I did do is I cleaned the screen with some 90% uh, proof uh, isopropylene alcohol. Um, you can see that it still looks like it has streaks, which is totally fine. Um, I'm just going to push a little copper piece down up here at the top. Uh, if it has streaks on it, uh, it's not a problem at all. What you want to make sure that it's free of any hair, of any specks, any dust, any dirt, anything like that. Um, the streaks are fine as long as you've removed all the glue. And when you're wiping it down, you can see that it's been removed. Same thing with the glass. I mean, if you take the glass out of the packaging, uh, you want to make sure that the back side of it is clean. So if you clean it with some um, isopropylene alcohol, it's 100% fine. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to slowly lower the glass onto the adhesive. Now this is the trickiest part, uh, is taking it nice and slow and having patience. You want the bottom of the phone where my fingers are at to touch the glue and work slowly. You don't want the top portion of the glass to touch before the bottom portion has worked its way all the way down or else you're going to get air bubbles in the glue and it looks terrible when you go to reassemble it. It's a waste of your time. Now if you do have that does happen, um, all's not lost, just go ahead and take the glue off or take the, the glass off of the LCD and clean it with the same alcohol. Make sure all the glue is off. In fact, this is my third attempt on this particular phone to do this. Uh, so it doesn't happen um, perfectly every time. So as you see that it started at the very bottom and moved all the way to the top. You can see that my phone, even though it had those uh, streaks in it, they're going away as the glue disperses. Like I was saying, if you do get an air bubble or bubbles or you drop it accidentally, go ahead and remove the glass from the LCD and just clean the entire thing again. Um, and make sure that it's all the glues removed. So I have a bubble right here in the corner. It's really, really tiny, uh, but I do not want it in there. If it's really small, you can normally depress it out um, using your fingers. And I'll show you how I do that here in just a few seconds to make sure that this is a, a bubble-free LCD. Now, a lot of people say, don't touch it, don't touch it. Um, whereas I guess I'm a little bit different. I want it to set as much as I can, but I'm going to give it a little bit of... Uh, ease into where I want it to be. Uh, the reason behind that is I want to make sure the glue gets into every corner and I want to make sure that I can get all of the air bubbles out um, if I have any small ones in there. Now if you have a lot of big air bubbles and you're going to want to head, go ahead and remove it uh, and take it all the way off. So just kind of pressing in the corners. Now right here moving my finger across the air bubble and pulling it towards the side. Uh, press in right above it and then push it. And you can see how I can kind of move the glue a little bit. If you have an air bubble, it'll actually usually follow the glue. And the goal is to get it to push all the way out of the sides of the phone. So of sliding my finger across where I want the glue to go. I'm just going to push the glue into the corners. Now the reason why people say don't press on it is if you sometimes let go of the glass, the glue will kind of reflow back and it won't actually flow into all the corners like it should. Um, if that does happen, all you have to do is as you insert it into the UV light is make sure that you keep pressure on the display and get it to sit nice. So looking at it, it looks like my bubble is gone. I'm just going to push this back into this corner here. You see that it started to come back, kind of that spider web. Same, almost the same feeling you would get if you were removing the glue with the heat. So just sliding down, it looks like, dang it, there's still a little bubble in there. So we're just going to push it slowly out with our fingers. You should see it move just a little bit. Uh, and if it doesn't come out, uh, I would probably just take the glass off, clean the glue off, and start over. Um, I know it kind of stinks, but it's easy to do. That's why I always buy the big tubes of adhesive glue. I use like the 30 milliliter. Um, 
I'm like 20 bucks off of eBay, but definitely uh, much better than buying a whole new assembly, which is like 160 bucks. So even if you have to do it two or three times, it's still worth the money to me. I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol and just kind of clean the glue off of the top of the LCD or top of the glass. Uh, what you can do at this point is kind of clean off the excess glue around the sides of the frame. Um, one thing that happens if you get a lot of excess glue kind of squeezing out, it's hard to remove the LCD from uh, this little local mold here. Um, and that can be a little bit trickier. You may have to use a heat gun to remove it. So if you clean up a lot of the glue around the sides of the mold before you stick it under the UV light, that might save you some time. You can also just kind of thin it out so it's not thick and globby everywhere. Just double checking, you want to look at the LCD or the screen nice and close to make sure there's no hair, no dirt, no bubbles. There's nothing in there. So we're going to go ahead and turn our UV light on. And you can see that my glue is kind of coming up in that corner again. So how I combat this is I'm just going to hold my fingers onto it like so. And we're going to stick it under the UV light. Now this actually cures really fast to get a pretty, a pretty good stick to it. Um, so just looking again now that it's in there for a second, just checking on it, make sure that everything looks good. Go ahead and stick it under there. It's probably already set enough to where the glue will not pull back up. And it has. You can see that now that I've removed my hand, we're going to go ahead and stick the bottom portion of the LCD in. Give it a few seconds. Now I don't want to put it in there for a ton of time while it's still in the mold. Um, or I've had some problems taking them out in the past. Uh, so you, we're just going to go ahead and kind of push on it here and see if it's going to slide out nice and easy for us, which it does. Perfect. Now that we've got the glue to stick down pretty nice, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a, a rag with some isopropylene alcohol on it. And we're going to go around the sides of the phone and just clean it. You want to clean the top portion. You want to clean the bottom portion all around the sides. And I would inspect it right now just to make sure that you don't have any excess glue kind of floating around anywhere on the device. I'm going to put it back under the UV light for just a few more seconds. Try to cure it, make sure that it's uh, nice and set. We'll give it a few seconds under the light. All right, so now we should have it uh, pretty good. Just make sure that uh, we get all sides of it. Now I wanted to clean off the sides of it just a little bit. Um, I've had some problems with the glue, like I was saying, getting st stuck into the mold. And also, uh, it kind of gluing and putting globs on the sides of, of the frame or the phone where the bezel kind of sticks down. You definitely don't want to have uh, that because then it won't sit properly within the housing of the phone. So that's why I cleaned it off just quickly with some uh, alcohol. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect but that way it doesn't get stuck within the mold and also it'll sit well once we get it back into the phone now it doesn't happen a ton and if you do get a lot of sticky glue on the side you can just use a thin razor and kind of clean it up try to cut it out just a little bit I'm just gonna pull it back out of the mold here now we can set it in just by itself I don't want to put it back in the mold I want to make sure that it sets nice all right, now you can see that I still have some glue on my fingers. Um, that means it's still around the edges here. It's got a, a lot of excess seeping of the glue. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean it again. Um, we're going to take our rag with some alcohol on it. And we're going to clean everywhere where the glue or the tape is going to readhese back into the housing. So make sure you remove it, all of the glue off of it. That way there's no ridges, there's no bumps, nothing that would make the, the LCD not seat properly. So taking it and squeezing it down the side, this is the trickiest part is right here. Um, the glue underneath where the, the viewing portion of the glasses should be set, so you don't have to worry about the, the, the alcohol seeping in. 
So get the rag in there nice and tight. Now I'm just using a microfiber cloth um, that uh, I got off of eBay for super cheap. I got like a box of 100 of them for like six bucks. Uh, so I would suggest that that way you don't scratch your camera lens or, or anything like that as you're trying to clean it off. Uh, now I'm going to be pretty diligent here, just using my fingernail to get really far into that frame. I don't want any excess glue really kind of messing up my display. That way, if, it, if that does happen, you have to take a razor blade and kind of cut it out or heat it up and then try to cut it out. And it's really, really a pain is sometimes you can mess up the, the glass that you just installed. Uh, so take your time here to clean all of the edges of the glass that we just installed. Now now that I've done that, um, I'm going to let it bake in here for just a little bit longer. Uh, I want the glue to be nice and set, that way there's there's really no issues with it once we get it um, finished. Spent a lot of time getting it out of the, the housing, so make sure that when we go to put it back in that nothing's going to be sliding around, the glue is nice and, and stuck on there. Now, I might be using a little bit of overkill here, but uh, to be honest with you, I really want to make sure that uh, I don't have to go back and do this again. So just making sure that it's in there and everything's baked on nice and good. It's really looking nice now. You can't even tell that it uh, had a crack in it at all. Everything should be functioning. We're going to go ahead and just uh, test the LCD here real fast. Just kind of clean up my area, make sure there's no glue behind it uh, before we set it down. It looks like there's a little bit of glue on the uh, a little connector there for it as well. So we're going to go ahead and take a rag and clean it off here real fast. You see there's a couple dots just on the, the ribbon cable for the LCD. Now we got those removed. Connect it back in. Our goal is this should fire right up. It should look perfect. There should be no bubbles. But again, like I was saying, always test before you move to the next step because it's a waste of time to uh, go through all of these steps and, and not have it work and then reassemble it and be really frustrated. So there we go. See that it's functioning properly for us. It's starting up. It's got the uh, S4 startup screen. You can see this is an AT&T version as the AT&T logo will pop up here in just a few seconds. Now the next step within this video is the reassembly, putting everything we took out into the new housing. If you want to watch that video, uh, go ahead and click the link in the bottom right hand corner that will take you right there. If you found this video useful, go ahead and hit the like button. Any comments you have, let me know. Again, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and I hope that I'm uh, helping you guys out. So I'll see you on the next video.